I don't know, but she was drawing on his hand. She was? And I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was a heart. Like this? Yeah. Except yours is nicer. I, I wasn't gonna tell you, and- I'm, I'm gonna try and wash this off before class. Yeah, yeah, of, of course. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Obviously, I mean, you're Jonah Beck. I'll be fine, don't worry. Yeah, you just said that. I did? Yeah. Andy, I, I feel really bad. Do you really believe her, your insecure shark? Do you really think that I lied to you? No. I don't know. Maybe you didn't see what you thought you saw. You know what? You're a really great boyfriend, but not such a great friend. At least to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. You got your eye on anyone else? Not really. I don't like talking about this stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Me neither, man. But, I mean, if we were the kind of guys who'd like talking about this stuff, who'd we be talking about? I don't know if I really want a girlfriend right now. <laughs> whoa, 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 JB, JB, JB! I hear you, man. But is that really what your heart is saying? Because I think your heart is saying something that wants to come out your mouth. I don't want to get hurt again. You won't. You're Jonah Beck. You're right. I was second-guessing myself. So you're not mad at me? Why would I be mad? I don't know. I should have asked you before I just showed up and the whole Amber text thing. Totally over that. <laughs> don't need to talk about it So, again. Jonah, uh, what were you thinking? I don't know. Amber never likes what I give her, and she won't tell me what she wants. It's like this fun guessing game that we played that I never win. It, it isn't really fun. Like I said, what a sweetheart. How about makeup? She loved that. I, I think. I, I wouldn't know. I'm really glad you said that. Amber loved the makeup, but she hated my card. Happy birthday from Jonah. It gets the job done. <laughs> she said she wanted more emotiony stuff. She gave it back so I can try it again. Amber's really good at giving me second chances. Yeah, that's um, one of her many good qualities. So, could you tell me what to write? Just write what you feel. I don't know how to do that. I just need something really nice. That sounds like I wrote it. Could you help me? Please? Sure. Sup? What's up? Where's your jacket? I left it at home. I didn't want us to look like a couple of dorks, right? Yeah, of course. I'm just asking you to wear the Space Daughters jersey for five seconds. Please. For me? OK. Yes. I'll wear the Space Otters jersey for the picture if you can tell me why I'm wearing a prison uniform. We talked about it earlier. I explained why it was important to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. You like her, don't you? Like, like her, like her. No. That's just... I gotta go. Jonah, wait! You're not supposed to talk about that stuff. Well, why? Come on, it's the best stuff. It, it is to you. So. Because you never say anything embarrassing. I say embarrassing stuff all the time. Like what? I'm not gonna tell you, it's too embarrassing. Just one little sentence. Hi, Mrs. Mac. Nice to meet you. I know all of Andy's friends. You're not one of them. He's a new friend. I invited him. You're wearing white, the color of death. But please, come in. Fix him before Aunt May gets here. <laughs> Those dumplings are not for you. They're an offering to our ancestors. Sorry. 
It's not his fault. I didn't tell him. And he's really hungry. Who is he again? I'm sorry. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Are you okay? I'm sorry, that was so funny. Did you hurt yourself? No. Let me see your chin. No. You should have an ice pack. Let me see if you have an ice pack. Don't! Are you mad at me? No. Hi. I was just wondering, did you get my text last night? I was going to answer, but my phone died. Right. Right. Look, I know you've already answered this question, but I just need to make absolutely sure you're not mad at me. Like I already said, no. Okay, then. Talk to you later. Sure. Got a minute? Of course you do. Andy is not who you think she is. What does that mean? Stop being such a dumb boy or you're gonna blow it with her. She's a really great person. Better than you deserve. Keep doing what you're doing and you'll lose her. I can't believe you're giving me advice about Andy. She's pretending to be the cool girl. But she's not the cool girl. She's jealous. And she's not gonna tell you that, so I have to. And by the way, you dated the cool girl, and you couldn't handle the cool girl. But you called Amber your girlfriend. Only because she made me. I see. So to sum up, you don't want the bracelet that you asked me to make for you. Right. <laughs> and we're not boyfriend, girlfriend. Right. See? That's why you're the best. You totally get it. Baby Tater set the spoon this week. It's a date. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. We don't use that word. Jonah! Hope. Hope! Hey! You okay? No. Okay, I'm gonna go get some help. Don't leave! No, I'll be right back. Drink. I thought I was dying. You've had a panic attack. Did something upset you or make you anxious? Yeah, kind of. You want to talk about it? You can, you know, doctor-patient confidentiality. Well, panic attacks can be very scary, but the symptoms are temporary. Remember that if it happens again. It's going to happen again? It might. I treat kids younger than you who have them every day. I can't go through that every day. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to suggest you would. L let me get Cyrus. He can translate for me. No! Don't get Cyrus. I don't want him to know about this. Or Andy or Buffy. Your friends aren't going to think any differently about you. Yeah, they will. I think differently about me. But they care about you. They can help you if you let them. I'd rather just go home. Thank you for the party. It was really fun. Except for the part where I thought I was dying. <laughs> All right. I don't know, I was thinking about you. And I got like this urge or whatever to get you a present. Ugh, I can hear myself and I sound like such a loser. <laughs> no, you don't. You sound really sweet. What'd you think of my present? It was so cute. I loved it. 
You can be honest. It was terrible. I know you're trying to help, but you're just making it worse. Sorry, I'm just trying to be a good boyfriend. The presents didn't work out, and I just want to make you feel better, and I say the wrong thing. Jonah, you're not my boyfriend. Well, I told you at the bar mitzvah, I changed my mind. I want the label. Hey, Jonah. Jonah. Are you okay? I, I just ran here, so. You're good. Just breathe. You want some water? No, I'll be, I'll be fine in a second. Why are we in such a hurry to get here? Um, to, to, to buy a guitar. I needed to buy a guitar. Yeah, I didn't know you played. I don't, I just wanted to learn. Oh yeah? What inspired you? Well, you know, music. Huh. I just need to sit down. Yeah. This is a big day. I remember when I got my first guitar. Let's see. My dad told me everything he knew. Was he a good musician? No, horrible. He only knew three chords, but he taught them to me, so they're still my favorites. Here, I'll show you. All right, put these three fingers there. There you go. That's a D. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's three right there. This is an A. Now, G. Yep. Congratulations, you now know the best three chords in the world. This is kind of great. I can show you some more if you want. Now? Will the store owner mind? Yeah, he's my friend. We jam. I've performed here a bunch. You should. Come and check me out sometime. I will. This was really fun. Where should I put this? You're not gonna buy it. You came in here to get a guitar, right? Hey, what's really going on? Nothing. Just sometimes I get kind of stressed and can't catch my breath. No big deal. Jonah, that kind of sounds like a panic attack. Yeah, that's what Cyrus's dad called it, too. And he's a doctor. It's great you're seeing a doctor. I'm not. He was just there, the way you were just here. I really don't want to keep having them, but I guess it doesn't matter when I want. If there's anything I can do. Yeah, there, there is. Don't tell Andy. Yeah, I won't. I think she'd understand, but I won't. Thanks. I just want to see how you were doing. Fine. You know, with your thing. You're not going to tell Andy, right? No. But if you need someone to talk to. I'm really fine. I haven't had any more attacks. Good. That's good. But I'm always afraid I might. The last one came out of nowhere. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I have something for you. Are you giving this to me? I know it's pretty beat up. It was my first guitar. What? I, I can't take this. Listen, it's hard to ask for help. I, I know that. But with this, you don't have to ask. It's just there when you need it. And looking at you playing music, it, it seemed to center you. It did. Then you take this, and as an added bonus, I'll quit bugging you about how you feel every single time I see you. <laughs> Deal? Huh? Deal. All right. <laughs> Do
Dude, you see it now, right? I mean, I don't have to teach you anything. It's already there, inside of you. It's kind of crazy. I, I never knew I could do this, and now I want to do it all the time. <laughs> yes, you're in. 11 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow? I I'm not ready. I only know one song. Oh, you can't play that song. She hates that song. Do you want me to have another panic attack? <laughs> no, of course not. But you're not having one, I think I know why. Because deep down inside, you know you're ready. Dude, stop yelling. I can't help it. She won't talk to me. She refuses to talk to me. Well, Buffy, talk to him. No. See? You can't fight. You have to stop fighting. Now the pancakes are burning. Oh, no. No, I think, I think it's happening. What's happening, I'm, Shona? I'm having another panic attack. You have panic attacks? Since when? The first time at your bar mitzvah. How many have you had? Just two. This wasn't one, this was just panic. But your dad told me that they can happen at any time and even if I'm not having one, I'm still scared I might. It's called anxiety about anxiety. Why didn't you tell us? It's embarrassing. It's just a physical reaction to stress. That shouldn't be embarrassing. But it is. Remember when we made that school orientation video? And you got all sweaty? Sweaty? I was a human water fountain. According to my dad, that was a panic attack. Yeah, I guess it was. Gotcha. Wait, what? Y you want me to perform the first song I ever wrote that you mostly wrote? Yeah, that's the plan. You do remember I have panic attacks, right? But you're not going to have any because you're going to be playing guitar. Well, can't I just go to Annie's late at night, wake her up by throwing pebbles at her window, and sing to her from the sidewalk? <laughs> you could, but that's a cliche. Oh. Plus, when Andy hears the song for the first time, you should be on stage. Okay, you're up next. How'd I let you talk me into this? Look, you're nervous, but that's okay. I would get nervous at shows too. Psy guy, what are you doing here? Figured you could use a fresh sweatband. I could. Arctic Berry Blast, your favorite. You're the best. No, I'm the best. And obviously I had to be here when you tried out for the ultimate elite team. I don't know if that's such a good idea. This could get embarrassing. Are you nervous? That's not a team. That's a platoon. You've got maneuvers. Breathe through it. Drink. You felt like this before, and you were okay then. You're gonna be okay now. Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. You don't have to do this. You're still gonna be Jonah back. I'm okay. If you could stop refreshing your email every five seconds, I'd find that really refreshing. The coach said he'd send out the team roster at four o'clock. It's four o'clock. It's 3.58. You still have two minutes. I'm not going to make the team. You're gonna make the team. Don't worry about my feelings. Be honest with me. How do I look at tryouts? Honestly? Please. You played with commitment and heart, and I'm sure that that's what they're looking for. Is that the coach? It's a text from Buffy. She says she's back. Is she back? Did I not mention that? No, dude, you didn't. Buffy again? It's the coach. This is gonna be more good news. We're on a roll. No, 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 no. There must have been some mistake. That coach is a fool and a buffoon. This is a senseless decision, and he will rue the day he made it. It's okay. This is not okay. This is the furthest thing from okay. It gives me a goal, you know, something to work towards. Well, if that's how you feel, then I will stop shouting. Thanks for being there. I'm lucky to have you as a friend. We're both lucky. 
Why did I wipe the wax? I mean, that was so dumb. These things happen. No need to panic. Take a deep breath. There you go. I wish I didn't have to be here. You were doing so well. Ugh. It's so stressful. I mean, saying the right things, wearing the right clothes, buying the right tea. You have no idea how many teas are out there. Somewhere around 3,000. That's too many. I know. And now this mess. He said it would help if I just wore another jersey. So I did, but every game I had to see TJ wearing my number. So what happened the next year? I didn't go back. I never played Little League again. Or basketball or football. Why not? I didn't want to be on a team with TJ or any of his friends. This was never resolved? No, and I, I know what you're thinking. This is a stupid grudge and I should have gotten over it by now. No. No, it's not stupid. Clearly, this was an important moment in your life. Without it, you might have been a completely different person. What do you mean? Think about it. You're the nicest person anyone's ever met. Maybe it's because you don't want anyone to feel the way that you did that day. I don't. You know, this is the first time I ever talked about this. I'm glad we had this conversation. Me too. I'm ready to let it go. I'm not. I, I told, told you. you. It's 21. It is 21. Oh no. Oh man, this is embarrassing. When I look at this jersey, I see a 12. It's clearly 21. To you. To most people. But I have a learning disability. It's a kind of dyslexia, but with numbers instead of words. Oh. I didn't know I had it back then. I only found out a few months ago. I'm sorry. What? No, I owe you the apology. And I owe you one too, for holding on to this stupid grudge for so long. I never even thanked you for helping me at Cyrus's bar mitzvah party. That was the most scared I've ever been in my life. Yeah, what was going on then? Panic attack. I get those now. Everyone's got something they got to deal with. I don't get it. I thought texting was working fine. It was fine. Fine to start with, but you two have been going out for a while. She's probably wondering why you haven't leveled up. So that you can talk face to face. So why don't she just say that? She has been saying that. You just haven't bothered to learn enough sign to get it. I know. You're right. She's right. Why haven't you tried to learn? I don't know. Yes, you do. You just haven't asked yourself the question. Professionally, my stepmom calls it avoidance. At home, she calls it that thing dad does when he golfs. I guess I'm afraid I'll be bad at it. I mean, what if I say something wrong and look stupid? You won't look stupid. And even if you do, you'll look like you care enough to try. Jonah? You're okay. You know what this is. It's a panic attack. It will end. Yes, it will. I'm here. I'm here. You'll get through this. Here, up, up, up. up. Here we go. That's better. Cyrus, I... Shh. Don't talk. Don't talk. I know it feels like you're gonna die, but you won't. But if you did, we're all set up for Shiva. Hey. Thanks. That was a really bad one. But it's over now. I don't think they're ever going to be over. I, mean, I haven't had a panic attack in a while. I even stopped worrying about them, and this one, it, it just came out of nowhere. That can happen. I just wish for once someone would say something positive. Even just, they'll get easier. But they won't, will they? They come and go. That's what you have to remember. They go. When you're having one, you just have to keep telling yourself, this will 
end. I wish you could always be there for them. Because <laughs> wouldn't that be fun for you? <laughs> Sorry, that, that was a horrible thing to say. No. No, it's one of the nicest things anyone's ever said to me. I never knew how much I need a friend like you. Why do you even come looking for me? Ah, uh, I, there was a reason. I can't remember it now. I'm suddenly starving. Is there food? <laughs> Is there food? <laughs> you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. It's just embarrassing. Dude, you've seen me on a carousel, after which I proceeded to vomit into my shoe. Sometime last year, my, my dad made an investment, which I guess went extremely bad. I didn't know anything about it until a couple months ago. When my parents told me we had to declare bankruptcy. Think of that as a board game word, not a real life word. It's kind of the same. Except you don't lose your game piece, you, uh, you lose your actual house. Where are you living? We're staying with relatives. Jonah. I'm fine, really. We have a place to stay. We're still all together. It's just hard. Listen, people declare bankruptcy all the time. They get through it. They come out the other side. You will too. I felt good telling you. It's like I just took off a really heavy backpack. <laughs> Dude, you can always lean on us. We want you to. It makes us feel useful. Anything you want to tell us? Huh? We just saw you with Amber. What happened with Libby? Do you have two girlfriends? Not cool, Beck. We thought Amber was your friend. Well, she is. And that she was helping you through a tough time. She was. With kissing? Okay, okay, I'm not being a jerk. Libby and I broke up. When? A couple days ago. Why didn't you tell us? I was embarrassed. She broke up with me. And you're already back with Amber? Amber? It just happened. I'll catch you guys later. No, you didn't. You met her? She's real? Where? How? I introduced them. Oh, OK. Because you know her. <laughs> she's my mother. No, she's not. Jonah, why didn't you tell me? I feel awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't feel awful. It is funny. For a long time, I thought it was really embarrassing. I, I never wanted to introduce her to anybody. Until today. And she is the sweetest, cutest person. <laughs> you will instantly love her. <laughs> well, I can't wait to meet her. You will. <laughs>